silver coffee still Got that feeling of more Running through our veins It's our feet dancing when you hear that fiddle play We love to hear oh that heavy music Down at the sand of the road Dancing with our sweethearts Just yeah, yeah. letting the good times roll We know it's got first and then oh. our I wonder why we can't lose weight around here. <laughs> the cooks do good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. In today's show, we're going to be shrimping and crabbing. We made a quick three hour trip. Uh, we did all this on a public road, Price Lake Road in Rockefeller Refuge. Y'all need to go. Anyway, we caught enough shrimp and crabs to do a good shrimp and crab stew. We cooked it, uh, brought it to Dad's for Father's Day, and we enjoyed it. Also, real quick, I want to let everybody know the reels are here. It's my little spinning reel. It's a K-Fred brand. Six ball bearing. It's really smooth. Uh, it's competitive with any other price out there. Very smooth. It's a small reel. It's going to work perfect with the rod. So now you can get the rod and the reel on the website. Thank you all so much. They are available at a good price. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go crabbing and tripping. Look at the alligator, got my bait. Look at this. That's a bad thing about crabbing. Stew crab. Looking at that bird. Oh, 
go. That was a good one. Crab. Bag. They pulled me and asked me what I was doing with the trash. I told me their job. Well, Kirk's their always job. picking everybody else's trash up. Well, that's a good thing you're doing, brother. Yeah. Keep it clean. In the future, you gotta keep it clean. That's right. Zoom up on that. Look in the bottom. Oh, yeah, some nice, some prime size. Uh, shot it in. Here. Watch, this throw should be good right here. Stew tonight, at least. Oh, That's yeah. my goal. Two dozen crabs and about three pounds of shrimp. Or, and look, we're on the way already. That's a pull bar just right there. <laughs> We're gonna eat you that tonight.
All right, we got enough of a meal. We're going to wrap it up. It was good seeing my buddy out here. I got to come all the way over here to see Kirk because he's <laughs> out here pretty often. <laughs> he helped me out, gave me some bait. that I brought some bait, but mine wasn't working as well as his. I think I'm going to go home and make me a batch of it, though. Next time I come, I will have it. All right, let's head to the house. We're going to cook up some shrimp and some crab. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clean the crabs first. Had the crabs on ice, kind of numb them up. Best way to do it. We're gonna take the claws off. Just break it right here. Take these lungs off. All right. We'll wash it up a little bit better when we get them in the house. Doesn't get fresher than that. We're gonna go ahead and peel these. Okay, we peeled the shrimp. Put the crabs here. We'll make a little stock with the peelings, the heads. Put some onions here. tablespoon of crab ball.
It's going to kick it up a notch big time. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna season the shrimp. I'm gonna use some cafe red. Look at these pretty shrimp we caught. Okay, let's go ahead and make the roux. We're gonna start out three cups of cooking oil. Right here have about four cups of flour. Okay, and this may make more than we need, so if it makes too much, I'll take some out and we'll save it for a later date. We're just gonna keep stirring this till it browns. bit more flour and I am cooking it a little hot we're in a rush so if you have the fire this hot you need to stir it consistently I notice a lot of people put it on, on a low fire and they cook it for hours. We don't have hours. We're trying to do this in 15 minutes. So I got the fire a little high and I'm just steady stirring. Uh, we started to get some color here too on it. So it's getting darker now. Y'all look at this, it's getting darker now. This is really close to what we want. Zoom up on this. We're gonna go ahead and add the onions. We got the color we want. Look at this pretty dark brew, y'all. That's a pretty color. Let's go ahead and add the onions. Bell peppers. All right, I'm gonna add a little water right here. Okay, I do have enough room for one more meal. I won't have to buy or make any. Okay, I added about three quarts of water. We're gonna add, here's about two quarts of that shrimp stock I made with the heads. Put that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add, that's a big tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to add that in there. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a good color. I'm going to let this simmer probably about 15 minutes and then we'll add the seafood in there. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it into a bigger pot. It's Father's Day, we bringing this to my dad's. Uh, this probably would be an issue, putting this in my truck, hitting bumps and stuff after we put all the crap. So we're gonna go bigger pot. This is a much better idea. Uh, now we don't have to worry about it spilling over the top. Well, it's smelling good already. Okay, it's been simmering about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add the crabs in it. Claws. Give that a few minutes and we'll add the shrimp to it. Look how good that's looking. Okay, we're going to add these fresh caught shrimp. Potato salad started right here. Okay, I just tasted it. It is so good. I'm just gonna add a touch, a touch more K Fred is all it needs. It's gonna be good. goodness make some rice this is fresh trout never frozen y'all be on the lookout for that video we're gonna fry that up with this crab stew we're gonna cut it in smaller pieces to where it fries crispy All right, we're gonna load all this up. We're gonna head to Dad's. Uh, we doing Father's Day at his house. Me and my sister and her husband. Penny's not gonna be able to make it. Uh, have another sister. She lives in Mobile. She's not gonna be here. Uh, so we'll be a small group, just four of us. But we're gonna have a feast. Y'all stay tuned. Let's load it up. We're going to head to Dad's. Uh, he's 85. I don't know how many, how many more Father's Days are we going to get with Dad, so it's a special occasion. Bring the crab stew. We're going to fry a little fresh trout when we get there. Y'all stay tuned. about to fry up these trout. Some K Fred in here. Trout, these were just caught, never frozen. Seasoned well with K Fred. We're about to hit that up. We'll do probably two batches.
swimming yesterday. I know that's fresh fish right here. Speckled trout. It's hot, but it's good. <laughs> oh my god. It's crunchy. Uh. <laughs> That's hitting right there. All right, last batch. Y'all give it a try if y'all hadn't. It's really good. Season it with tape red and use this fish fry. Can't go wrong. All right, Jeff, my brother-in-law is going to eat first, or serve himself first. Ooh, that's a lot of rice. Looks good. It's thick. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be thick. Let me see that play, Jeffrey. Mm, can't wait. Dude. Awesome. Jody serving dad right here. That looks great. It's a big pot. I hope you like it. Happy Father's uh, Day. Thanks. It looks so good, I already know I'm gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs>
You wonder why we can't lose weight around here. <laughs> My sister cooks too good. Yeah. <laughs> 